Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Brain Logic, and let's go and figure out this super simple math problem right here and what we have is 20 plus 10 divided by 2. Seems pretty basic, seems pretty easy, however many people are going to get this problem incorrect, so if you could do this without a calculator, put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer here in just one minute and then I'm going to kind of really emphasize an extremely important basic math concept that is going to be the reason why a lot of you are going to do this incorrectly. Here's our question, here's our option, choose one option what do you think is correct and write your option down into the comment section, this is very tricky question. So there are two types of students, first type of students solve this question like that, take a look closely, we have, we have 20, we have plus 10 and divided by divided by 2. So first type of students solve this question like that, they don't know enough, do enough math and they start with this addition, so 20 plus 10 equal to 30, yeah, we have 30, and with this division by 2, we have equal to 15, and we have this option, this is option A. So first type of students solve this question like that. And I don't want to tell that this is correct or incorrect, I want you to understand that in math we can't solve this problem wherever we want. We should know about order of operation, for example, we should know what is the correct order to do this problem, because obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer. Okay, so what is the order of operation? The order of operations is a set of rules used to determine which operations to perform first in order to evaluate a mathematical expression, okay? If the correct order is not used, we will end up with an incorrect solution to an expression. PMDMC is just one of the mnemonics used to help to remember the order of operations. Different mnemonics are used in different countries. So this is PMDMC order of operation and for example, let's solve this question according to this order of operation. Parentheses are evaluated first, uh, followed by exponent, then multiplication and division, and the final step, addition and subtraction. So why PMDMC is important? PMDMC is important because we need to know what order to perform operations uh, in to get the right answer. If we were to just randomly perform the operation chaotically in a given expression, we could end up with many different incorrect, incorrect solutions. In cases when more operations are in world, it's possible to end up with many more solutions, only one of which is correct. Order of operations is what lets us correctly evaluate an expression. So when to use PIMDMC? You use PIMDMC when there are two or more operations. In our case, we have two operations, so it's a great case to use our PIMDMC order of operation. If there are only one operation, we don't use any order of operation. So right now, let's try to solve this question according to this PIMDMC. So right here we have our order, right here we have our question, and let's check with the 15. Maybe this 15 is a correct answer, but take a look closely. So we have 20, we have plus 10, and divided by 2. And let's look, let's analyze this PMDMC. In most cases, order of operation is straightforward, and we just follow the order in the figure above, so from the top to the bottom in our case. However, there are some cases, particularly with multiplication and uh, division, that can cause some complications, okay? Generally, the order of operation rules are the follows. The first step, parentheses. First, compute any operations that are within parentheses. If there are multiple parentheses, start your calculations from inside out. Once all parentheses have been taken care of, move on to exponent. Let's look at it. Where do we have parentheses? I don't see any parentheses, so we just, we just skip this part. We don't have any parentheses. Next step, exponent. Calculate any exponents in an expression if their exponents raise to an exponent. Uh, maybe squares, cubes right here? No, I don't see any of those. We don't have any squares, cubes, so we just, we just skip this part. We don't have any parentheses, we don't have any exponent, and it's brilliant. Third step. Multiplication and division group. This is one common group in terms of PMDMC, so we should find this uh, multiplication and division sign. So after handling parentheses <coughs> and exponent, perform multiplication or division in the expression from left to right. Let's scan where do we have this multiplication and division part. So we have this part right here, so 10 divided by 2, this is our part. And this is really interesting moment because as you can see we, we have uh, differences with this solution and with this solution. We have a uh, division first First, right here we have addition third, and this is really important step in terms of in terms of PMDMC because division is all the time. Yeah, we have right here division. Division is all the time before before addition and subtraction. So we should start from this addition. Okay, so we have twenty, we have plus ten divided by two equal to equal to five. 
Okay, so we complete this division step. So we have division right here and we already complete this step. Let's go to the next step. The last step is addition and subtraction group and to finally add or subtract from left to right. Let's look at it. We have we have right here addition, so we have this sign right here and we can easily complete this addition because nothing hard in our case, 20 plus 5 equal to equal to 25. And we don't have subtraction, okay? So as you can see, we have six steps right here. We don't have parentheses, we don't have exponent, we don't have multiplication, we have division, and we have addition. But if you look closely, this is maybe the main rule, the main thing I want you to know, that division is all the time before addition. So all the time you should divide it first, and then you should add. This is the main thing I want you to understand, okay? This is maybe the main thing I want you to understand. And the last addition, and we have our answer 25. But one really important moment, this is like a very tricky test because we don't have this uh, option 25. We don't have this option, we have 15, 30, we have something like 50 over 2. And then, this is really important moment, then a lot of students goes back to this answer 15. Because they don't see the 25, they go back to the answer 15, because this is the obvious solution for most of students, and they choose this option 15, which is really bad, because as I told before, this is a chaotic solution, we can't solve this question like that, and we should know about order of operation. A correct answer is 25. But what about this 15? As I told before right here, we can't go with addition first. We can't start with addition first. We should, for example, if we put brackets right here, if we put parentheses, then addition will be the first step because this addition is inside parentheses and this is very important step right here and this is why that's why this 15 is incorrect solution with parentheses it is okay solution we start from this addition we have 20 plus 10 equal to 30 and we have our answer 15 but in our case we don't have parentheses so forget about this answer 15. What is our correct answer? Let's look at it. 15 is not the same, 30 is not the same, but what about this 50 over 2? From school you should know that this is like simple division. We have 50 over 2 equal to equal to 25. And this is our option option C. So let's write our answer. This is option C. So we hope you understand my explanation. I hope you learned something new. I hope you understand this order of operation. Maybe a lot of students have difficulties with this multiplication and division part, but multiplication and division are grouped, are grouped together because they are inverses. So they have the same priority when multiplication and division occurs. Uh, together, assuming all higher priority operations have already been taken into account, compute the operation in order from left to right. The same precedence is used for, uh, for addition and uh, subtraction, which also have the same priority as each other, okay? So addition and subtraction have the same priority and multiplication and division have the same priority, which is really important in terms of, uh, in terms of mathematics. So here's my solution to this question. I hope you I hope you learned something new, I hope you understand my explanation, but um, I want you to understand that uh, PMDMC is uh, not the only mnemonics used to remember the order of operation. In other countries, for example, BODMAS, BIDMAS, BIMDS are used. They are uh, all essentially the same thing. They are. They just use different terms of, to describe uh, the order of operation. Uh, okay, PMDMC, BODMAS, BIMDMC, uh, different other order of operation, and uh, different countries use different order of operation. So this is my solution to this problem. I hope you understand this explanation. I hope you learned something new. And moreover, I hope your answer is is the same as mine, which is really great uh, for me. And of course and of course for you. So thank you for your time. If you need help with any of these classes, you can just go through my YouTube channel. I have a ton of videos. So with that being said, I definitely wish all the best in your mathematic adventures. Thank you for your time. Have a great day. I'm wishing you all the best and take care.